when I say it. <laughs> no, Ruben Navarro is perfect. <laughs> Great. And we're on. Oh, we're on. Right. Hi, my name is Topher Shields, and I am the lead shorts programmer here with 3 Old Bill Cinema. And um, I, this is my seventh year of pro programming uh, Chance Encounters, which is a um, men, um, gay, gay men's kind of meet cute romance, Chance Encounters. Um, I love romance. So um, I'm here with one of the filmmakers from uh, the program tonight, uh, Ruben Navarro. Um, and uh, tell us a bit about yourself and about your film. Yeah, hi, my name, as you said, is Ruben Navarro. My film is of Hearts and Castles. Um, so I am from Spain, but I'm based in Los Angeles. And I shot the short film here in Los Angeles. And the film is about uh, a man who is going through a, a hard breakup and he meets someone one night, a stranger, and then they have a very special connection. And what happens that night um, is gonna help him, you know, to, to, to get over, to start getting over, to start moving on with his own life and see another perspective in life. Uh, I love, that's one of my favorite things. I, I saw this film, I see a lot of films <laughs> programming the festival. I think I saw a hundred, a hundred short films and yours oh, really wow. stood out for me. Oh, um, I, I just thought there was great chemistry with the actors and um, the story was really original. I don't know if you want to talk about, um, like how, how did that idea come to you um, about the, the heart and the, and just um, where did the story come from? Is this um, from a friend of yours or part of your life or, or how did, what was the, the start of the story? So when, well, when I wrote this, I was actually going through a breakup myself. Ah, so, we've all <laughs> been there. Lot, yes, so a lot that you see there, it actually, you know, it, it's almost like my own mind, <laughs> my own thoughts uh, at that time. So, to me, it was, very, it was very impactful, this breakup. So I wanted to tell a story uh, about it to connect from a universal you know, perspective. Like everyone has gone through a breakup. Doesn't matter who you love, who you are. Everyone has had you know, that experience. And to me, it was very important to, to tell that story. And well, for those who have seen it, there is something with a heart. I, I don't want to say much because <laughs> maybe some people haven't seen it, but uh, Basically, one of the characters has like a condition, physical condition with his heart. And I actually met someone with the same condition. And that's how oh, I got wow. the, the oh. idea. So okay. basically, when I met this, this person with that condition, then when I was going through the breakup, I kind of put two pieces together. Like, what, what would have happened, you mm -hmm. know, if, if when I was going through this breakup, that encounter with this person happen, you know, mm -hmm. like how impactful, how powerful could it have been for me? And mm -hmm. that's how this the story started. Mm -hmm. How did how long did it take you from from idea to to putting going from idea to script to casting? How what was the whole process? How did that that go? It was long. Uh, well, I I did the first draft, and then I think I didn't do anything like in a year. Like mm -hmm. I have a, a draft and then within a year, I barely touch a few times, but not much. And then it got to a point that I was like, okay, I need to focus, you know, I need to get this done. So once I really focus on the script, it took me like, it took me like a few months to, mm -hmm. to get it to, to where, it, where it is right now, to the place I wanted to take it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was very hard, although it's like a small short film, you know, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. But it, it was hard because there are so many emotions, and so many feelings that it was very hard to find the balance mm -hmm. with the story. Mm -hmm. And it took me like a few months of uh, doing drafts and drafts, you know, and I really went like every single dialogue one by one, you know, making sure it's, it was there for a reason. It was there for, to tell what I wanted to tell, you know, so that took a few months. Mm -hmm. And once that was done, uh, I think it took another few months till we shot it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so in total, it was like two year, a two years process. Oh, wow. Saying. From start to end, it was about two years. Yeah, with some breaks in between, but yeah. But yeah. Well, I, I kind of think I, I watch because I'm the, I'm the shorts programmer, so I do watch a lot of short films, and I think the best short films are usually kind of like a, it's 
some people they, they sometimes try to fit a whole movie into a short and i think the best short films it it's it's everything is there you've got to be really selective of what's there it's just it's the most important pieces and it just has to tell a story like it's almost like a, a like a slice of a story and i thought you know and you, and you have to be you just you capture it with glances with just, with just a scene and i i think that it was I love the scene when the two actors, when they meet outside the bar, mm -hmm. I, I thought that was great. And it just says so much. And just, they had very, not a lot of dialogue at the beginning when he asked him for a cigarette and just that connection was there. And it was just a great, um, just a great introduction to the characters and seeing that. Um, and just, and just the way you told the story. I liked, I liked how you, you kind of brought, drew, drew us in into the characters. So I thought that was really interesting. Thank you. Well, it's, it's, it's also interesting that the first draft, it was, um, it was chronologically mm -hmm. the story because the, the final, you know, the final film, can, I kind of uh, play a little bit with the structure, mm -hmm. um, but the first draft, it was written chronologically. And then one of the latest draft, there was something missing when I was mm -hmm. writing. And then I, I got this idea of playing with the structure and they really liked it. Like it really worked because to me it was very interesting. Like you get to see first the connection and then how they met. Mm -hmm. And I think when that happens, the the read of that when they meet you as an audience, what you what you see, what you read, what you look for is mm -hmm. different. Knowing what's gonna happen, you know, mm -hmm. in the time. And to me, it was very important also to. To, to to check that and to see how people will react to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I liked seeing it kind of out of order. I think that kind of gave it a different perspective of the characters too. So there were, uh, and they're both very sexy. Did you have, <laughs> they're both some very sexy yeah, actors? Yeah, they are. <laughs> so did that, how did so that go with the casting process? Did you, were you in, was it just writing and directing? Did you look, look at a lot of actors? I did. I did look a lot. Uh, well, you know, I, I put it online. Mm -hmm. I received probably five hundred submissions. Wow! And that's I'm a lot. Not, like for real, like, yeah. for real. Then I asked for a self tape at the beginning, uh -huh. and then you know through the self tape the five hundred. Well, where a second? No. So I got five five hundred. Then I select a few, and mm -hmm. then I got self tapes from the people that I selected through mm -hmm. you know the headshots through their their reels yeah and all that so i think it went down to like 30 or something like that wow wow um so yeah so then after the self tapes i did callbacks um and then um so marcus uh, his well marcus is the character jonathan mm -hmm. he came to the to the callback and he was he was great. He was amazing. Mm -hmm. we, we all loved him since the very beginning. Uh, I, I like to work, I mean, I, everyone likes to work with, you know, with people that you get along. But mm -hmm. you, to me, it's very important to feel connection and, and similar energy. And with Jonathan, it was totally like that from mm -hmm. the very beginning. Um, and then for, for Angel's character, Luis is his name, the actor. Um, it's funny because he actually helped me with a table read. We did a table read and I didn't know him in person, but I had him on Facebook. So oh. I went out to him. Yeah, Facebook you know brings people together. Yes. <laughs> exactly. And then I, I reached out to him and then I said, look, I, we don't know each other. You know, I don't, we are Facebook friends. I don't know why. I uh -huh. guess we are in the industry and everything, right? Um, and I told him, you know, like, I'm just doing this table read. But he... I only knew him from his pictures, but he really looked like, like the character that I mm -hmm. pictured in my head. So I asked him if he would help me with the table read and he, he read the script, he loved it. He said, absolutely. He came to the table read and in the table read, I was like, that's him. Mm -hmm. I still, I, I didn't, he didn't do like a self tape because I, he already was, you know, in the table read, that was sort of like the self tape for me. But he, he came to the callback. I mm -hmm. asked him to, to come to the callback, you know, just to make sure, because I didn't know who the other actor was going to be, and you want to make sure you have people that connect and have chemistry. Mm 
Mm -hmm. But it, it, it was always him, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, they were great. We have a question in the chat. Yeah. Uh, someone said, your actors were really good. How did you get them to be so vulnerable and, and intimate? Um, you know what? It was very easy because mm -hmm. I think um, before we met before, we didn't, we didn't rehearse really. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, we didn't rehearse. Uh, I left it open for them if they want it or not. And they say they prefer not to. Wow. Okay. And which I was totally okay with it. Mm -hmm. And we just have like two hours conversation. And that I think that's what helped to bring that vulnerability to it. Because mm -hmm. of course we, we we read the script. We did like a like a read mm -hmm. a couple of times yeah. together. It wasn't like a rehearse, but we sort of you know play it a couple of times. But we were just talking about these characters. We were talking about our own experiences. So we the three of us were sharing a lot to each other. Mm -hmm. So I think that really made us feel very really comfortable with each other, and they felt very comfortable as well. And I think that's what really brought the you know, that vulnerability on, on set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there definitely was an openness and a, and a chemistry that they had. And I think that often, you can, I think often you've seen other films where you can have, they've cast two actors, but they don't have the chemistry. And I think that what, what you were able to find in, in, in these two actors, you were able to find these two actors that, that they were all great actors, but they also had the chemistry, which is, it's hard to find to, to make that happen. I, I feel when, when they met, I already cast them when they met. Mm -hmm. I didn't have like a chemistry reading or anything. Mm -hmm. I, cast them, I cast them separately, but I knew they were going to like, you know, have that chemistry. Mm, wow. Th there was something that felt right. Did they, did they read, did they audition? Did you have them read together or was that, oh wow. So you cast them separately. That's interesting. Yeah. Cause they, yeah, they, I thought they had a really great chemistry and you could definitely believe them as a couple. I thought it really worked. Yeah. Uh, there's another question. Uh, someone said, I like the non-chronological order as well. It added to a sense of mystery and discovery. Thank yeah. you. That's cool. Yeah, that's what I was talking before. Like, I, I think it was very interesting to, you know, to see how the story, the story at the end of the day, the story is, is about a connection. Mm -hmm. um, the connection doesn't have a beginning and an end, you know? Mm -hmm. Connection just happens. So that's why to me it was very interesting to to do that structure mm -hmm. because yeah. I, you still see the connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just and it left me wanting more too. I think I think like I was excited to I wanted to see what happened next, which I which I think was great. So, do you have? I know sometimes when when um, when filmmakers make a short, they sometimes have ideas of then turning it into a feature. Do you have any ideas of, of, of doing a, taking this story or, or another parts of the story and turning into a feature? Not right now, not right now. I, 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 never, I never made this film with uh, an idea of turning this into a feature. Mm -hmm. I, I did it with an idea. I have a, a feature film that I wrote. It's, it's already written. Oh, great. And that's the next project that I, that I want to direct. Mm -hmm. um, although the story is completely different, but in a sense that there are very, a lot of elements in common. Mm -hmm. So to me, this short film was also um, something to help me, you know, for the feature. Mm -hmm. Sort of like either for me, for practicing, for um, showing it to people and tell people, look, this is what I've done. This is what I, what I want to do next, you know, mm -hmm. things like that. But what I thought though, this is like, I thought about this like a month ago. Mm -hmm. Like it would be very interesting in 10 years, do another short film when they run into each other 10 years Oh, later. I like it. I like it. So yeah. I might do that in 10 years. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like the, um, it's like the Before Sunrise yeah. trilogy. Yes, yes, like that. Interesting, but with the short film, so I like exactly. it. Exactly, yeah, I cool. love, yeah, I, it's in my head. My yeah, head. I like it. I like where you're going with that, that's good. <laughs> cool. Uh, what about, I feel that, and do you feel that um, 
but I love the romance and in the gay storyline. I don't know, like, I feel like not so much queer film has a lot of romance. Do you feel that we need, there needs to be more romance in queer film? Um, it just seems like we, that that's something that's missing in some of the queer film we yeah. see nowadays. I, yeah, I agree. And, and I do believe we need more romance because um, I think it's important to, to, you know, we are just, everyone, you know, we just want love. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we tend, everyone tend to stereotype, mm -hmm. certain, you know, or put labels to, to certain things. And not everyone is in, in, in one way or another way. There is everything everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. And I think for some reason, uh, gay characters ha have been stereotyped a lot. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important to show, you know, human stories, universal stories of feelings and emotions that everyone feel. And I really like that my short film is connecting to everyone, to, mm -hmm. you know, like it doesn't matter who you are, who you love or anything. You just connect with the feelings and emotions. I actually have a friend who just went through a breakup. He's a straight man. and. And he loved the film. He was like, man, it mm. really touched, you know, it really touched mm -hmm. me a lot. Okay, that's what I want because I don't want people to see two gay men. I want to I want people to see two people, you know, mm -hmm. connecting. Yeah, because I think no matter gay, straight, um, or whatever, it's everyone's gone through breakups and every and people have you know had romance and love. And so I think people can relate to the breakup story as well. I think that's very relatable. Exactly. You have to see beyond, you know, th there are two men, it's just, it's, there are two human beings. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely. Uh, someone asked, what do you personally want to see more? In, what do you think, what would you personally like to see more in queer cinema? Well, I think this is what we're talking, actually. Mm -hmm. I, I think, I, actually, I'm, I, yesterday I saw uh, Breaking Fast. The, mm, yes. the film that is playing at the festival. And I had that feeling of, I want to see more films like this. I really liked it. So if, if mm -hmm. the filmmakers are listening, uh, I really liked it. And I might mm -hmm. reach out to you because I want to say something to you. <laughs> but I, I think um, it, it, it's like a wrong comedy. You know, it, you know mm -hmm. it's, it's like a romantic comedy. And we don't get to see that. It's mm -hmm. almost like gay people cannot have their own, you know, love story. You know, mm -hmm. there, there is not a lot of that. And mm -hmm. I I think we need to see that more Love, Simon, or on the show Love, Victor, mm -hmm. you know, like giving, giving, you know, teenagers, gay teenagers, the opportunity to have a love story on TV, you mm -hmm. know, things like that, making it more natural. Yes. So as long as we, we see that, I think that's what we need. Yeah. Not always the gay character is sort of the comic relief. Exactly. You no, know, exactly. I think it's it's definitely to see. I think we want to see our stories and just a, a just a wide range of stories and to see the love stories and the romance yeah. and all of it. Exactly. And the other stories are fine too. We just need to see mm -hmm. all of them. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and that's what I think is so great about the queer film festival is you get to see all these different stories. You get to see the romance and the the history and the the comedy and the drama and I think that's we're hungry to see our community and our stories out there and I think that's that's what's great about queer uh, film festivals. Yeah. It's still no mainstream but little by little it's getting better. I yeah, think. I think yeah, I think uh, Love Simon got is was kind of mainstream and and a great sto love story. Um let's see Clay said I really like the way you showed their meeting in reverse order after they go home together. So yeah, I think Thank it was you. It was a couple of people have commented they liked the different play of the order of things. That was, um, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question, Clay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, uh, this this guy that I met told me that. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I didn't come out with that. I have to say I That's a good that. line. That, That's a really good line. Yeah, that actually happened to me. To, to you? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. Yeah, he hugged me and, and told me that. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, no, that <laughs> I was <love> that. <laughs> that was a great line. That was awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. That was, yeah, one of my favorite parts of the film was that. Was that. I liked that a lot. 
thank you. Yeah. How are you um, surviving the, the quarantine? What are you doing in the quarantine? I'm fine. I'm doing okay. I'm home a lot, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being out as well. Um, you know, at the beginning, no. At the beginning, I spent two months here, <laughs> mm -hmm. not doing much. Uh, but now I've been going out a little bit more. Um, but I've been focusing on writing, actually. So the feature film that I mentioned before, I've been writing that. And I took advantage of the time being home, and I was able to finish it. That's great. That's really great. So, and you have a piano. So I see I, here. I, I learned yeah. it. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> Are you gonna write a musical maybe, a musical short? I, you know what? I love musicals. I would love uh -huh. to, I would love to do a musical uh, at some point. Yeah, it's, it's in my list of things that I wanna do for sure. Good, that's good. So you've been productive. You haven't been, been uh, slacking during the-, the Yeah, time. no, I've been productive. You know, it's, it's a roller coaster, you know. Yes. It's not like you are productive every day. Some days you are like, what am I doing? Um, but it's been very interesting to get to know me even better mm -hmm. and to get to see, you know, what I can get better in, in certain areas of, of myself. Mm -hmm. um, me as a, you know, filmmaker and um, being creative and everything, uh, it's been great to, to see how, how I cope, you know, with everything. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. I'm glad that you've been able to tap into your creativity a bit with the writing and everything. So we have a question in the chat. Um, let's see about when your what your next project was. Um, what your next projects will be? Well, uh, what I was saying, I wrote this uh, feature, so hopefully, you know, it's a, it's a feature, so it's harder, but mm -hmm. it will it will happen, I think. So. Uh, I just finished it, so I like in the beginning of trying to figure out what's what's the next step to to get it done. Um, mm -hmm. I also wrote a, a pilot. Oh, great! For a show, so also wanna you know move that around. Mm -hmm. And I wrote another short film, um, but great. that's about it for now. Awesome. So. Um, great, nice comments from Jason. Thank you for a great film. It was a wonderfully curated program. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. <laughs> um, that's great. Can you um, can you tell us a little bit of the of what about the film that you're working on coming up, or a little like a, a little snippet about what it's about? The the feature film. Yeah, yeah. So the feature film is actually my personal story. Oh, great! Awesome. <laughs> I, I use a lot of of my own. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's actually uh, uh, my personal story, and is. It's a story of a man, a Spanish man, who moves to Los Angeles. Hmm. Um, sounds familiar? Sounds familiar. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically someone who is struggling with his sexuality. And he has a, a first love story with a man. Um, it's very hard on him. And he's in denial. And he's going to navigate his own feelings and emotions with a love story with a woman. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's, it's sort of like the first love story with a man and the last love story with a woman sort mm -hmm. of happening within a year and how, you know, navigate those love stories going to help him to, you know, self accept himself. That's great. Yeah. Uh and then you, you, if you get to you be, or do you plan to be help to be involved with directing that as well? Yeah, I want. Yeah, I wrote it, and I, I'm, I'm going to be directing that one too. That's exciting. That's well, the idea. Uh, well, I can't. I I love this. This this is one of my favorite films I, oh, that I saw you. during when the shorts and the mini shorts I saw. So I can't wait to see um, what you do next. So definitely yeah. keep in touch with us. We can't wait to yeah. screen films. Of course. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think I don't see any other questions in the chat. Um, so definitely keep in touch with us and let us know what else you have coming up. Yeah, I, I will for sure. Thank you for having me. I love Seattle. I've been in Seattle and I love the city. And I, I saw the films that you have in the program. I know a few of them because I've seen them in other festivals and I know the quality and I, I felt very happy to be included, you know, with so many great films. So thank you. That's great. 
Yes, and of course, normally we would have you here in Seattle. I um, would have gone, believe me. I, I we would have definitely, gone. We would have wined and dined you in Seattle, um, but unfortunately, things are a little different right now. So we'll have to, um, in the, for you, one of your next films, we'll have to hopefully bring yeah. you up here to Seattle. It's like a rain check. I'll, I'll go next time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. You will definitely have a rain check for, from us. Okay, and, awesome. Uh, great to chat with you, and we Good. loved your film. Thank you. And... Um, Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you.